wonderful. If you're looking for a sweet holiday treat that will melt in your mouth, try our family secret recipe. It's fast, fun, and super simple. Stay tuned. cookbook is called the Hope in Cookbook. You ready to get started? Of course! Alright, so the recipe for mom's chewy cake is on page 30 of the cookbook and the ingredients are one half teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of light brown sugar, one egg, one cup of all-purpose flour and one stick of butter. Butter? It's butter. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's get started. So you preheat the oven to 375 degrees. So Don't burn yourself. <laughs> so we have the oven preheating and it's going to make a noise. So. <laughs> Sorry. You place the batter and a grease. Mix sugar and butter together with an electric mixer. <laughs> Let's get started. So first, we're going to put one cup of light brown sugar, and this is a third, so we're gonna put three of these. Now we're going to mix the sugar and the butter together to a good consistency. going to add the flour and the egg. And the sifted flour. Tell them about the swans down cake flour. It's swans flour. So we add two more taste tablespoons. But if it's regular flour, you just do what the, what the recipe says. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share this video, and comment down below your favorite Christmas memory. And we'll give you a shout out on our next video. Peace out! Alright, so we added a little milk to our mixture because it wasn't the consistency that I was looking for and you can definitely do that it's supposed to be like cake batter so if you're not getting that you can add just a little milk to give you that cake batter consistency now we're gonna add the baking powder. One half of a teaspoon. Scoop it up. Make sure it's even and pull into the pot. Now we mix. Yes. Now we grease the pan, which we already did pre um cooking. Oh, we're adding that. Yeah, so we've altered the recipe just a little. And we're going to really like that. <laughs> she added it for herself. <laughs> So my mom used to add nuts to her chewy bread. So I'm going to add some walnuts, just a few. And what you do is you flour the walnuts before you put them in so they won't sink to the bottom 
of your mix. Alrighty. So now since we pre buzzed the plan, we're going to pour in the mix. Now we evenly spread it through the pan. Now we are putting her to bake for 20 minutes. Had this spoon. We're back, and the chewy bread has come out from the oven. It looks lovely. I'm going to cut it up. You cut it in squares like you would brownies. So I'm going to make four columns, and I'll end up with 12 pieces. They're not even, they're crooked, it's okay. So this little piece here is what I'm going to taste. As I said, this is a altered version of my grandmother's chewy cake. My mom used to make this all the time and she is the one that would add the nuts. So she added pecans, I added walnuts. I guess as this gets passed down from generation to generation, each person will add their own touch. So this is my first time making it. Let's see how it came out. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is chewy cake. What I'm going to do is put together a package for my brother. I think he'll be very surprised. And I'm going to put a Christmas package for him and include all the things that we used to eat growing up. So this chewy bread will be a part of that package. And I'll just put it in a plastic container and Get it in the mail first thing. It's not going to be, of course, as good as when I first made it, but if I wrap it up tight, you should at least get the flavors. And it should remind from a phone. Thanks for tuning in and please like share and subscribe. Take care.